everyone, welcome to number 13, the Baker's Dozen of the V-Blog. And uh, today it is, uh, well, there's going to be fireworks on the roof, so I'm very excited about that. Um, we are here in the House of Round in the studio, same as usual, um, and lots more things to talk about this week. Um, the main theme of this week has been the house sickness, the lurgy. We have all had this strange thing, and maybe some of you have as well. Uh, one morning I woke up with the like, really, really achy knees, and I thought it was because of something else. Um, and then I realised that uh, my whole body was kind of being taken over by um, this heaviness, this heavy, heavy set feeling. Um, and I, uh, one morning I couldn't get out of bed, I just couldn't get out of bed, I was kind of creaking to get out of bed, and um, it took me very long, longer than usual. And another time I tried to get out of the bath, and I couldn't get out of the bath at all. I was trying to like relax my muscles. I thought that might help, but um, the water hadn't quite heated up enough, so I ended up uh, having a lukewarm bath, and then kind of not enjoying that very much, and then thought, well, I'll get out of the bath now, and I couldn't actually get out of the bath for about five minutes, so I was trying to find a way, I just didn't, I didn't have the strength, so I was, I was going to call up my sister, because she lives not far, well, actually next door to my flat in London, and, uh, but didn't get to that. So there we go, so I've been feeling a bit ill this week, and as a result I didn't go to my Pilates class. Um, and, uh, and everyone else has had it, had it as well, like Justine's had it, Lucy's had it, Paul's had it, um, I think my sister's had it, we've all had it really. And we've, we've had it, we've had it up to here as well with it, and finally I think it's, it's all nearly gone. So, in amongst all of that, um, I managed to do the Plague song uh, at the uh, Barbican event, which was really, really great. And uh, saw Rufus again, which was very nice, always nice to see him. And um, we did his song as well together. His song is called The Death of the Firstborn. And I, um, and I uh, tried to learn the lyrics and ended up having to read them off a uh, stand because I got nervous. Um, but it sounded really great. It was really nice just to sing for a change and not have to worry about, you know, uh, playing any instruments. Um, and then my song that I did was Glittering Clouds, which is this one, for any of those who'd like to refresh their memories. And actually I wrote, I wrote this song pretty much like straight after I got this in Vera. And this was the first thing that I kind of wrote. And that's pretty much how it is on the album. Um, and it was very exciting working with the choir. Sense of sound. I've never worked with a choir before. Um, they were really fantastic. There was about 20 of them and it was just so much fun working with them. I had about an hour on the day before just to kind of show them what I wanted and I, the first thing I said to them was, hello everyone, I'm in Vision Heap. Today we're going to be locusts. Um, and so I taught them all how to make funny locusty sounds with their voice. And the, so the first, uh, the first thing that you would hear, I walked on stage and then Everyone was waiting for the song to start, and then I just uh, I kind of directed the choir, and they started by being a swarm of locusts by going shh, and I kind of moved my hands around, and and then the according uh, people, you know, opposite me, the choir like made this swishing sound, and then it got larger and smaller, like a swarm, kind of passing the plains of Africa, um, and uh, and then I so they were doing that, and then um, some other people were like this amazing guy called uh, Michael. Um, Blair uh, was bowing his uh, cymbals and bowing his vibraphone, and David uh, David Coulter was playing the saw, and uh, it was really great. It was I you know I don't know if anyone's seen me do that live, but usually I have like samplers and stuff, and it was great to just be able to you know come on with the Mbira and just sing, and I, I really enjoyed it. So I kind of the swishing thing happened, and then I just did my little. <laughs> That a couple of times, and then and then the choir all did that as well. And I got them all kind of slapping themselves and clapping and clicking their fingers. And by the end of it, um, some of the people who were doing that like, against their bare skin, they had like big red kind of marks where they were slapping themselves, which means they were doing themselves a good job. Nothing wrong with a bit of slapping every now and then. <laughs> uh, my favourite bit of the whole kind of event was just before uh, they all had to go up on stage because they were singing like with loads of other people. They had so much to learn. They were a really great great group. Um, and uh, they were having trouble with like how to how to uh, bring in this this like harmony domino motion jump starts when we touch that bit, um, and uh, and I said oh I'll go through it with you just before you know in between sound check and, and the gig, and they were like oh yeah great, great. so so I came out and uh, they were all there and um, and I just I was going to play it you know with my laptop but I just thought let's just sing it 
And so we sang it just with no, no other musicians, um, just, just voice, just sang the song. We were all clapping and kind of, I was doing funny kind of ski, skiing motions, I don't know why. Um, and it was just really exciting. I loved it so much. I just wanted to go on forever and ever um, just singing with them. It was so much fun. So who knows, maybe we'll do something in the future. It was really, uh, it was very inspiring, like working with lots of other amazing, you know, they're brilliant vocalists. So I look forward to seeing what happens in the future with them. You never know. Um, and uh, the cloud box is, has arrived, uh, has now been fully almost installed. We've just got to put some kind of filler around it. But um, yeah, it's not exactly what I'd imagined, but it does look really good. Um, it's kind of a nice daylight uh, setting at the moment, but we can have sunrise, sunset, uh, aurora borealis. And we're trying to program a kind of night setting where you kind of looks like glimmering uh, stars above my head. Um, and as you can see, well, maybe you can't right now, but you will, uh, there's lots more gear in here. Um, and the major reason is because I'm panicking, because I think I'm going to do this Heroes thing. I couldn't do it last week because I was ill, but they've kind of given me an extra couple of weeks to do it. And I think I'm, I think I'm going to do it, even though I'm really a bit petrified, really, because I haven't, I haven't done anything like recording wise for about six months or maybe longer. And I'm a bit, uh, you know, I kind of looking back on me doing the album like Speak For Yourself in that room on my own for a year, I really have no idea how I did it. And this is, all looks really kind of daunting to me now and I'm just hoping that it all comes flooding back and I'll just get into the swing of it. But at the moment it all looks like a bunch of gear that's a bit alien to me again. Um, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be all right. Gone to this, you know, this much effort now to make it. So I really hope that it works out. Oh, but we all have these doubts, don't we? Um, what else? Rufus in his heels. I went to see Rufus uh, play the next night. He was playing, or uh, anyways, last night. I went to see him play at the Hammersmith Apollo. Um, and uh, he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, he had me at this song called um, Paris, something about Paris. It's on his new record, I have to get it. It's beautiful, really lovely. It was kind of the first one where he went to the piano and um, just played um, and the kind of the people around him were just like very delicately like adding s small elements it was just really really lovely so he had me there and then he had me again when um he came on and he had heels on and he had his tights on and then he had like this dinner jacket on with a white shirt underneath and he kind of sat in front of the crowd with his bathrobe or bathrobe on while he was kind of hiding the fact that he'd got all this great gear underneath put on these huge like diamond or diamante clip-on earrings this hat and like did his makeup in front of the crowd and um put on these huge heels and then danced around to um a frank sinatra number um, with all of his band dressed up uh, with rubber masks on with different politicians. It was great! I really enjoyed it. So I fell in love with Rufus all over again. There we go. Um, so we had a nice party afterwards, which was very good. Um, what else? Yeah, just general kind of tiredness, really. Tiredness has just taken me over this week and I'm not feeling particularly um, my usual sprightly self. So I'll probably keep this vlog quite short. Um, and I think in a minute we're going to go and watch fireworks from the roof and um, because we're quite a way up here and we can see all of London so Friday night there's quite a few a few ones going on this uh, tonight so we're going to go up have a cup of tea or something or a glass of port and uh, watch the fireworks in London so um, that's about it really a few more driving lessons um, yeah there we go sorry <laughs> I'll see you next week. So, um, I went to see Rufus, as I said before, and he looked especially good in heels. And I don't know why I do, but I have a little thing for men in heels. So if anybody fancies um, making me feel better because of my flu, um, I'm sure I would get fully over it if I had a few people sending in uh, video blogs of them in ladies' shoes. High heels. The higher the better.